Welcome, welcome, welcome. What I'm going to do for you guys is try to clarify some stuff for you guys okay? with what's happening, what's happening energetically in with our planets. Okay. Um, so it's kind of what lessons that kind of floating around in the air. What type of karma is is hitting you within the next week? Okay. Damn. Um, you saw that, right? The same two cards that just came out before? Alright, so that's a big message. Let's see what else. In the next week. What type of karma is in the ethers? That was weird. Felt like something came out. Um, purpose. So this is definitely getting on your purpose. I don't know why I want them this way. Because that was first before that and then that. So let's get three more. Patience, my dear chicklins. Patience. Love. Someone's passing judgment on themselves or vice versa. And it has to do with your heart. Relationships, okay. So to me, I don't like this combo. I'm not saying it's necessarily together. I don't like that combo together though because that's basically telling me that somebody's hanging out with the wrong person or the wrong type of people, the wrong type of friends, not a good influence. And if that's the case, you're not going to be able to get to where you need to be. So I almost said like that's a deadly combo. I don't like that combo at all, okay. But then you got worry, and it's like worrying is not going to change an outcome, you know. So that's basically saying like up for grabs, like like you know you can't stop who people hang out with, and if they want to be young, dumb, young and dumb, then they're going to be young and dumb, and there's nothing you can do. So I wouldn't worry about it, okay? Um, but this is a strong, strong message. Somebody's definitely passing judgment on themselves when it comes to whomever they love. All right. But you also need to accept that everything happens in the divine order and you're going to have to have patience, especially when it comes to somebody that's important. Okay. So I don't know if you're dealing with somebody who's doing drugs, drinking, alcohol addiction, partying, hanging out with the wrong people. One's got a lot of love. You know, you guys have a purpose, but at the same time, Things are scrambled. Okay, it could be saying that. Or it could be saying that there's a special friendship that you have with somebody and it's not even love related. It's just that it's that it's that bond. It's, it's a different type of love. It doesn't have to be intimate. And you're just trying to be patient with somebody. I really feel rehab. I feel like something's going on here for a, um, a group of people who are going through toxicity, addiction. It's stuff like that. Okay. But... I want to separate them. I, I don't want to link them together. But when I see that combo, I don't like it. But I don't normally link these type of two cards together. I mean, these cards in general, I normally don't link together. So I kind of feel like this is seven days of energy with the seven cards here. Or it's the six days of energy with that extra card that came out basically just saying, listen, like, it is what it is. There's nothing you can do in this situation. So, you know, bypass it. So... That takes a lot of strength to bypass that type of that type of feeling, though, because the uh, this love. But someone needs to bypass it. Like psh, it's almost like I see like that Range Rover, not Range Rover, 
Range Rovers, Range Rovers can be nice. But I, what's that? What's that rooster that runs in the Bugs Bunny or something like that? It's that rooster that runs real fast. I don't even think it's a rooster. What do you call those little suckers? It's a roadrunner? Okay. F fucking see you later. You know, like... It's like, I can see you guys at a crossroads. And it's like... I, I don't know if you're leaving... You know, leaving somebody in the dust. Or you want... It, you know, it's, it's ironic. It's ironic what they're showing me. So let's start with... Friendship. Let's start with friendship. Hi, buddy bear. Hi, Budski. How are you? How are you? How's my little Max, huh? That's my baby. You slept over all those cards and the only one you wrecked was love? <laughs> okay. Okay, alrighty, Schneidy. Okay. So if I'm going to look at these singular, singly, singly is not a word, okay? Courts dictionary here. Plural, okay? Uh, if I'm going to look at these as individuals, Okay, which is kind of what I have to do, even though it's kind of feel like it's being freaking linked. Tell me about friendship. So let's find out what this friendship is, okay? What type of friendship is this? What, what do you want to tell us about friendship? On the side we got the Hierophant with the Four of Wands. Again, this is like judgment being right here because this is like, to me, this is somebody asking spirit, like, for forgiveness. Talking to the divine, talking to spirit, putting them in the right spot, in the right place. This talks about a foundation. So this could be going on within the home, a husband, a wife, a caretaker, a caregiver, um... But again, it's bringing me right to that judge. Oh yeah, judgment's right here too. Son of a bitch. Gosh, I feel like it's gonna be harsh for some of you. Judgment is is harsh karma. Okay. Um, strength. Yeah, that's that's that toxicity I was feeling for someone. But like, this is gonna take strength to get through this week with energy. Uh, and this is like restrictions restraining yourself, not losing your shit when it comes to something that you love. Tell me about purpose. You know, and this is like somebody's on their purpose for damn sure or finding their purpose. There's no question or trying to figure out their purpose, okay? But like, again, competition. So it's like somebody is very competitive. I, I don't know if there's somebody else in the picture or not or this is you being really competitive with yourself. You know, it, it's mental... It's mental. It's mind control, restriction, even though the five of wands doesn't speak of restriction, but I mean, sitting under your purpose, it's like, but here's the, here's the deal. It's like, you know what you need to do, but yet it's like you're fighting yourself. You're judging yourself. You're restraining yourself, restricting yourself. You're staying disciplined. But it's like, if there's someone you love or there's a special friendship, man, woman, wife, husband, boyfriend, girlfriend, bestie, you know, it's like, I don't know if someone's angry with somebody. It, it, it's it's going to be a tough week for some people and others, it's, it's going to go smoothly. Um, tell me about patience. <clears throat> I 
patience, patience. Some of you are definitely feeling lonely. Okay. We got the King of Swords. This one's studying. This one's sharp. This one's witty. This one's... You know, you either have to have patience with the King of Swords or have patience on yourself. You know, the King of Swords is usually very disciplined. Um, try, try. You know, we got the Queen of Swords right at the bottom of the deck. So it's, it's like a match, but that would make sense with friendship here. But like, it looks like the King of Swords energy is trying really hard to have patience. With what? I don't know. Possibly with, with love. One of those type of scenarios. Having the strength pushing through. It's that type of energy. So let's find out about love. So it's almost like they need the strength to even get on their, their path, their purpose. Okay. Justice. Balancing out the scales. Trying to figure out when's the right timing. But again... This is in the divine's hands, not necessarily anybody else's. Fair and just decisions. Uh, the king of swords would know how to make a fair and just decision. Um, and tell me about relationships. Somebody's definitely hanging out with the wrong people. Possibly getting themselves into trouble. We have the three of wands. So this is somebody at a distance. This is somebody traveling. This is somebody thinking about the stars, thinking about the divine, especially being right under the purpose. So it's like it's all linked, okay? Um, and this is all male energy on my board. So A, we're going to be in masculine energy all week, which is tough sometimes, okay? Because th there's nothing nurturing here. There's, I don't know if this masculine energy is worried about their future. Because, again, looking straight up at their purpose. So it's all linked. So I don't know if the masculine energy is really hanging out with people they shouldn't be hanging out with. Or is just not like-minded. Tell me about worry. But they have a good judge of character. Because the King of Swords is a good judge of character. But I guess not if they're not really being smart you know and it's the six of chalices so they're worried about their soulmate they're worried if there's somebody else in the picture again external energy or they're romanticizing so they're worried so if this is you guys you know and you're in this situation and I just kind of feel like this is the energy you're going to be in, so do your best to have the strength to, to get through this energy because it's, it's hard energy. The divine wants you to be patient. They want you to stop worrying. They want you to stop passing judgment. You know, karma's here. It, it is what it is, and that's that's what it is. For some of you, you're definitely about to get on your the your road, your purpose, okay? Um... And it, and it's your purpose for sure, because she's looking right up at purpose. But then you're confused. It, it's confusing energy for some of you, and some just don't have the strength to step in right now because they're not done passing judgment on themselves or a certain situation. Um, somebody definitely needs to clear their head for sure. Meditation would be a good thing. Vacation would be a great thing. Stepping out a certain energy would be a great thing. Um, your best advice for, you know, this week coming up, dealing with all this, I'm going to pull it for you, okay? Um, but stay, stay strong, you know, because they're trying to get you on your purpose. Best advice for this, best advice. They're trying to get you to see something. I don't think you, you want to see, possibly. Um, and, you know, again, justice. And at the bottom, we have release. So it's, it's the end of a, a difficult situation. And it's also a spiritual transformation going on here, too. So it is a time to move on. So that's what I'm saying. Like, don't hold on to this energy. Because this isn't energy I'd want anybody to hold on to. It says, 
you know, fair and just decisions. Do what you know is right and stand up for your beliefs. All right, so this is definitely standing up. And when it comes to fair and just decisions, this, I mean, it clearly has to do with love and reconnecting and seeing the good in things, okay? So instead of, this is someone's karma, is someone's karma is going towards love and seeing seeing the best in a situation. But someone is, is, is stuck in this whole judgment. So the best thing for them to do would be to confront this situation when it comes to whomever they love, whomever you're living with, a household situation, whatever the situation ship is, and to get on your path, to get on your purpose. This is not something you can rush for damn sure, okay? But this is a lot of mental, mental confusion. But it's, it's, it's karma. I think I had a read like this the other day where it's, it's just, it's destiny, whatever happens happens whenever whatever wherever the wheel takes you it takes you um but with this strength card the first thing I noticed when it came out it you know it was reversed so it's like did somebody not have this strength but it's like you have the mental strength to to ponder I, I suggest you step out of that you know and it's like if you're worried about your soulmate go towards your soulmate and instead of thoughts of your soulmate because I mean the thoughts of your soulmate or, or when you guys were together are intimate or when you hug or, or it's something like that you know what I'm saying so it's like but instead of going towards it you're worried about it, it it's, it's fantasy okay it's more of a fantasy type thing um let me clarify strength let me clarify strength got Rihanna work 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 Hello. So, let's clarify strength. King of Pents. Again, masculine energy. Okay, so... Only feminine energy is over here, so I don't know if the feminine's worried, but, like, this knight needs the strength to come in. It's... it's, it's the masculine energy passing judgment it's a lot of judgment man i want to get out of that energy tell me about this six of chalices which energy is this or it's just i'm thinking about the divine i i, I mean it is it's, it's somebody getting you know it's, it's just the lover it's what a bond holy shit the six of chalices this is actually the devil i said lovers right off the bat but this is this is that bond. It's, it's, you're entwined. It's, can be frustrating, okay? Because you're entwined. I don't know if you're going to hold somebody's past against them or if this person's worried that you're going to hold the, their past against them because it's judgment. Okay, so it looks like the masculine energy is worried about somebody passing judgment. Okay, but regardless, you know, it's like you find yourself in this competitive energy because you're, you're hanging out with people you shouldn't be hanging out with, especially if you're a grown ass adult. You know, it's like, what are you doing? But maybe somebody will realize that this week that the crowd they're hanging out with, you know, is either going to put them in a certain situation where they're going to go towards their destiny because they realize, like, look, this isn't for me anymore type thing, you know, fun. But, like, so it looks like it's just, it's like a battle, it's, it's your battling is up, but it's your karma. So it's like, make the right decisions. Because if, if, if you're making wrong decisions, whoo-wee, your karma is not looking bright, okay? It, it, it's rough. Because somebody's making wrong decisions, and... It's like the devil's out to play. I mean, you have the devil on top of relationship. So if somebody's just out there playing and making stupid decisions, poof, that's rough. That is 
not good energy. I'll tell you that. Um, otherwise, you know, if you're not dealing with that situation, it's like I said, it could just be a bestie and they're having a hard time and, you know, they could be dating somebody or it could be a child dating somebody and, and making bad decisions. I mean, it, it could be anything like that. And the divine is just saying, you know, have patience with this situation. Um, but again, like I, I see the wheel being here too. So it's like, I don't, I don't know. <sighs> I feel like, it's, again, it's like it's trying to tell me something more. My my head is like, what are you trying to say? Seems like it's just a decision of making good decisions versus bad decisions. And somebody could possibly jump back on the merry-go-round or somebody can make a wise decision. So it really just depends on your scenario. And if you're in none of these scenarios, stop passing judgment on yourself. Stop worrying about somebody stepping in. If someone's going to love or not love, like be patient on yourself. And if you know you're hanging out with the right, wrong type of friends, change it. You're in control of your own well-being. Okay? That's important. I'm going to get you pull one over, overall lesson to explain all these lessons. Like, meaning, like, you're, well, I know you know what I mean, but, like, your best advice, so, like, let's just pull it, let's just pull it into one. That's too many. <clears throat> that surrender energy has come out a couple times, okay? So, pride, love for yourself, and, and see, see the good in others, too, okay? So, worry about yourself. Worry about yourself here. Don't let pride get in the way. Focus on yourself. Okay, so if 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 you're in a situation where you're like, ah, you know, mental fuck, take care of yourself. Worry about yourself. You can't go wrong. Honest to God, you take care of yourself, and whatever situation ship you're in, you can't go wrong. So if you have all this external energy and you're letting it get the best of you, you you flip that switch real quick, and you worry about you. And nobody else but you to get to where you need to be. Because at the bottom of the stack, it says, I accept challenges that are the best way to learn. So this is a test. And that death card's there too. Okay, so it's like, regardless of the past, the, the present moment, the future, nah. Worry about the present moment. Worry about you. Don't get stuck in this mental energy. And you push through. Okay, so this is your overall message. If you find yourself in this type of energy, take care of you. Nurture you. Be patient on you. The, all this external energy that's going to be surrounding you, in one ear out the other. If it comes out of one mouth, you shut it down. Especially if you're hanging out with these, this, this particular group. Okay, so... It's, it's not, it's not easy energy, okay? But when you love yourself and you take care of yourself and you do what's best for you, you will always persevere, okay? You will push through whatever you need to push through to get to exactly where you need to be. And you need to understand that this is very testing energy coming towards you, but it's okay because it's the best way for you to learn. Unfortunately, people make dumb mistakes, but... You as a human being, I mean, we're here to make mistakes too, but you as a human being knows that nobody can tell you one way or another. You make those mistakes for yourself. You accept what you've learned. You accept your mistakes. You accept things and you learn from them and you push through and you move forward. It is the only way to persevere. Okay. And then let the divine control whatever's happening. Okay, you control the energy, let them control your fate, your path, your purpose. Focus on you if you find yourself in this situation. Nurture yourself. I'm going to pull you one of these cards real quick and then wrap this up.
overall card for this scenario for the week. Overall card for this scenario. Okay, keeping up. Okay, so it's it's that effort on you too. All right, it's in order to advance. Worry about you. Keep up with you, your time, how you want to let things flow. Patience. Um, it's immense effort, okay? So it's going to take a lot of effort on your half to, to push through this energy. Um... But no need to fear your future. It's at the bottom of the deck. No need to fear what's next, okay? Um, remember how powerful you are. And you can conquer, you can get this power by taking care of you. So it, it, it's, it's, don't you dare worry about the nonsense. Don't you worry about the external energy. Like, see what I'm saying? So if you find yourself in this, you worry about you so you can push forward. Okay, so I'm on the same page as the divine when it comes to advice, so that's good. Okay, so again, you find yourself in this energy, you take care of you, and you, you let this go. Whatever happens is going to happen. The, you know what I'm saying? So don't let the energy get the best of you. Don't let the energy control your brain, your mind, your heart, nothing. Fight it. Stay stronger. Persevere. Push through. Don't get mentally fucked in this energy. It's a test. How far you've come. Regardless of whom is exterior to you. You push through. I love you guys.